welcome to Rock With It. Today I've got a paleo pizza crust for you. Now growing up pizza was one of my favorite foods so I could be quite the critic. This one is absolutely out of this world. You're going to love it. The reason being it's quite authentic. You can pick it up like an actual pizza. It doesn't fall apart in your hands. So very simple like most of our recipes. This one starts off with grated aubergine or eggplant depending where in the world you are. Then we've got half a cup of ground almonds half a cup of Parmesan cheese, if you're okay with the dairy. If you don't, um, if you don't like dairy or you're, if you don't want to use it, then you can use a fat seed meal with that instead for a half cup. Then we've got one egg, a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and a little bit of olive oil. The olive oil, however, doesn't go into the recipe. It's simply to grease the parchment paper. So here we go. I've already started grating some of the eggplant um, for us, just to save on time. Um, before you start grating this eggplant, just be sure to peel it because the peel doesn't grate very well. So we've got just a little piece here and I'm just grating it right into the bowl that we're going to be mixing everything in because we like to keep everything simple. Now if you're left with these little pieces at the end, which you will be when you're grating it, rather than throw, throwing them away, just take a knife and slice them nice and thinly like to use everything. So the recipe calls for about a medium sized eggplant and that works out perfectly. Again with these recipes you can't go wrong even if you're not exact on the measurements. Okay so we've got our eggplant all grated. Here we go. Okay so now I'm going to cut, um, add half a cup of the parmesan. I've grated this parmesan myself. I just think it tastes nicer if you buy it um, ungrated but if you need to save on time, then just go for it and buy your parmesan already grated. Then I'm going to measure half a cup of the almond flour. Here we go. I'm going to mix those just lightly before adding my egg. I was really surprised when I made this at how well it really turned out. So here we go. Here's the egg. Another fun recipe because you are going to have to get your hands dirty in this one. There's no way around that. But that's that's the fun part of cooking. Okay, so I'm just mixing all of those ingredients together. The egg binds everything really nicely. And because the eggplant or aubergine has that moisture in it, it mixes really well. Okay, so I'm going to just finish off with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt, just a pinch. There we go. Finish the mixing. Okay, so here comes the fun bit, which is you're going to take your baking sheet, a piece of parchment paper big enough to cover it. I've already preheated my oven. It's preheated at 170 Celsius or that's about 350 Fahrenheit. I'm just going to put a little bit of the olive oil on there. Now you want to make sure that you cover all of it because the eggplant will stick to it. The crust will stick if you don't grease it well. So here we go. It's about finished. Okay. Here's the good bit. So I'm going to just put the mixture right in the center. Brilliant. Now it, I know you're probably at this point you're going to be thinking there's no way this is going to work, but just trust in the process. It really does. So you're going to take the mixture and just work it gently to the sides, and you want to go about an eighth of an inch thick. So or, so quite quite thin, you want to spread it out. Be sure that you're not leaving any gaps as it can fall apart in the middle. And you want to push it gently from the middle out so that you don't end up with a really thick thick point in the middle and then thin around the edges. So you want to get it nice and even. So just take your time. They say cooking's an art. So I think this is where that comes in. Here we go. So I'm almost there. Now this is going to cook for quite some time. You're going to cook it for 35 minutes. 
And then once you've done that, you're going to take it out and flip it over, cook it for an extra 15 minutes. Now the last bit is where you can kind of watch to see if 15 minutes is a bit much or, or if you just need a little, a little less, you'll know. Brilliant. So this is looking really good. So that's what the mixture looks like. And trust me, it will come out like an authentic pizza crust. I'm going to put that in the oven. There you go. So again, that's going to be in there for 35 minutes. When you take it out, just gently peel off the parchment paper. If you've oiled it well, that should be a simple process. It really shouldn't stick. Flip it over, put it back in for five minutes. I'm going to post a photo of how amazing this pizza looks for you. I ended up topping mine with some nice mushrooms, olives, which are one of my favorite. It gives it a nice strong taste. And some spinach with a little bit of sprinkled Parmesan on top. So it was brilliant. It's a fantastic recipe. Enjoy this one as much as I did.